Good morning, everyone. My name is Ryan. We're here in Papua New Guinea today. We're doing a solo international flight down to Australia, turning right back around and then coming all the way back over the sea. So it's about six hours of flying today. We're gonna go ahead and go on in and go through our customs that we need to, even though we're not clearing customs down in Australia today. So let's go ahead and jump on in and get that done. Now that we've cleared immigration and customs, immigration, they, yeah, I basically gave them a gen deck, they stamped my passport, I went over to customs, gave them a gen deck, they signed it, and that's about it. That's all you have to do to get cleared out of PNG. So let's go ahead and start up and I'll get on our way three hours down there. Jackson departure, Papa 2, November Tango, Zulu requesting airways, clearance, cans. Uh, Departure so five six to uh, capital. Cruise one eight thousand. Walk seven four four seven. Departure five six to Capso, Cruise one eight thousand seven four four seven. Papa two never Igniter's on low start. Reduce our fuel over fourteen percent. And it looks like a normal start again. All right, here we are in Papua New Guinea Import, Moresby. Looks like we have some weather on the way out of here for the first, I don't know, 50 to 75 miles, but it doesn't look that bad. This is all we have is the windy app, so it doesn't really show you that much, except that there's some precipitation out there. Once we get past that down to Cairns, all the way down here, and it should be nice on the way down there and all the way coming back. It should clear up by the time we get back. Apollo 2, November Tango, Zulu, Overflow International, request taxi information echo. Apollo 2, November Tango, Zulu, taxi holding point runway 14 right, time to Nina. Taxi holding point 14 right, November, November Tango, Zulu. When you're doing an international, international flight here in Papua New Guinea, you use your full call sign, which we don't use when we're just doing our all of our domestic flight flights around here. Yeah, yeah, we usually just use November Tango, Zulu. Zulu. But because we're going to Australia today, we'll use Papa 2, November Tango, Zulu, so I might stumble myself and they might stumble as well. The thing I did forget is to put my life vest on. We're going to be heading out over water for three hours, so I'll need to throw that on here in a second. Jackson Tower, Papa 2, November Tango, Zulu, holding point 14 right, ready. Papa Tango, Zulu, line up and wait 14 right. Line up and wait 14 right, Papa Tango, Zulu. Okay, so now you heard to say Papa Tango Zulu and said Papa 2 November Tango Zulu. After that, it's kind of like the states or other places, they can shorten it down. They just say the first and then the last two. Whereas I think in the states, if I remember correctly, it's been a while, they just say the last three. Come on, birds, watch out. Papa Tango Zulu, maintain runway heading, contact radar airborne, clear for takeoff. Maintain runway heading, radar airborne, clear for takeoff, Papa Tango Zulu. Ignition condition flaps 20 fuel and harnesses, runway heading. 1540, checklist is complete. Air speed's alive. There's 50 by the thousand. And there's rotate. Be heavy today. We filled up our fuel tanks absolutely to their max, in hopes that it's the perfect amount. It usually is the perfect amount by the time we land down in Cairns, Australia. Jackson Radar, Papa Two, November Tango, Zulu runway heading passing 480 on climb 18,000. Papa Two, November Tango, Zulu, Jackson Radar. Good morning. Identified. Maintain runway heading. Should be for right turn. Maintain runway heading, Papa Tango Zulu. Just looked up my autopilot for heading mode just so that I don't let Papa it drift. Papa 2, November Tango Zulu, when ready turn right, intercept 184, radio outbound. When ready turn right, intercept 184, radio outbound, no, Papa Tango Zulu. Alright, see, even me, it's so confusing sometimes. I go down here, we used to go down here like four times, five times a year for each pilot. Uh, now it's like twice a year. So like I was saying, there's some weather out here. There's a potential chance that I might actually be able to get above it. In the mornings, it doesn't really build up that high. 
the biggest concern is basically if I'm not able to get over it, right around 14,000 feet is where we start getting into the icing region here around the tropic. If there's a lot of moisture, I have my radar today. If there's a lot of moisture, then I'll have to drop down a little bit lower, use up a little bit more fuel. But I won't have to worry about icing that way. Put my radar on and just take a look at it and see what I have ahead of me. It doesn't look terrible, but I think if I just head off to the right, maybe 10 miles, then I should be able to clear all of it. There's like a little tiny, tiny corridor that could go around it all. Oh, that reef below me sure is beautiful, that's for sure. All right, so it looks like this part right here, I could go around it if I wanted to, and I'm gonna be passing through probably around 10, 12,000 feet when I go through this area, which is still fine. Once I get up into this area, there's still a little bit of moisture. It doesn't look like anything significant by any means. There's a really good chance, well, there's not a good chance. I will be at 18,000 feet by the time I get up to that point, and then I'm gonna be picking up icing. Just looking ahead, I think most of the moisture and rain is actually gonna be below me, because I still have decent visibility looking out this way, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on my slow climb up to 18,000. It looks like as I get up there another 25 miles or so, we'll have a little bit more, and if I have to drop back down due to icing, then, uh, then that's what we'll do. If you guys are wondering, does this type of flight make me nervous flying over open water in a single engine plane by myself? Uh, and no, it really doesn't bother me. Like, I actually enjoy it. I like the, the difference of like flying over jungle, you're flying over water. The chances, like, you're either way, it's kind of a crappy situation if you have to go down, whether it's in the jungle, in the middle of dense jungle, or swamp, or the ocean. Either way, I do have a raft with me today. His name's George. I've never had to use him, thankfully. But this one is a six-person raft. Then I have my life vest as well as I have like an air canister down here that I can uh, use as well. Jackson Radar, Papa 2, Nova Pango Zulu request. Papa Tango Zulu, go ahead. Requesting to maintain 1-2000 for the next uh, up to 3-0 miles, just to potential icing. Papa to Nova Tango Zulu, Ocha, stop climb 1-2000. I'm on 2000 over Burr, or my power tank is over. Figured it's just pointless, because see right here, I'm already at five degrees Celsius. So basically, they say like, the prime area is like negative five to five plus degrees Celsius for icing. And really, I've only seen it personally when it gets down to like zero to like negative below that, really. I have, I've never really picked any above that but there is a potential. So by the time I get all the way up to 18,000, another 6,000 feet up, there's a very high potential that I'm gonna be at like negative, probably, let's see, two degrees Celsius every thousand, another, probably in the negative two range, probably, maybe negative three degrees Celsius. So there's a much, much higher chance. The precip looks like it's going down. So I'll just level off at uh, 12,000. And then once we just get past this little bit right here, which isn't very thick, then we'll just continue on up. To know about Tango Zulu, contact Mosfi Radar 119 at 113. 119 at 113, good day, Papa Tango Zulu. Good day. Mosfi Radar, Papa 2, November Tango Zulu, maintaining 1, 2,000. Papa 2, November Tango Zulu, Mosfi Radar. LQNH 1011. And uh, advice when ready to climb 1, 8,000. We'll go, Papa Tango Zulu. Papa Tango Zulu, and are you on track? Currently on track, uh, requesting up just uh, one zero miles left and right of track if need be. Alpha, question Papa Tango Zulu, clear to deviate one zero left and right. Good to deviate one zero left and right, Papa Tango Zulu, thanks. The bypass, I'll throw my igniters on just because we'll pick up some more rain here. Pito heats are on. I'm a lot more willing to go through like red on the radar at early morning just because it has not had time to really build up into any type of convective stuff. It might be like a little bit of rain, but it's fairly smooth in the mornings. You can still see all the way down below me. Not very good, but I can see down below me. 
in the afternoons, if it's showing red and they're all like convective clouds, cumulonimbus stuff, eh, I've gone through those enough to know that I prefer not to and I'll go the 10, 15 miles out of my way so that I don't have to get thrown around like a roller coaster. I see I'm already at one degree Celsius. Because it's raining though enough as it is, and it's, a, it's really watery, it's just going right off. So I highly doubt I'll pick up any icing even at one degree Celsius. Now it looks like I'm starting to see a horizon line up there. So it looks like we're already starting to get out of the heavier rain. Where's the radar, Papa? Do you know Papa Tango Zulu requesting 18,000 now? Papa Tango Zulu, climb 18,000. Climb 18,000, Papa Tango Zulu. And then out up to 18,000. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, trim for my climb. The way I can climb up at my best rate and get up there quick enough and start saving some more fuel. Brisbane Center, Papa 2, November Tango Zulu. Papa 2, November Tango Zulu, Brisbane Pod 2, number Tango Zulu, maintaining flight level 180, standing by for clearance. Pod Tango Zulu, you're identified, clear the cans via PUPEB, flight level 180. Clear the cans via PUPEB, flight level 180, Pod Tango Zulu. One thing I forgot to show you guys when we were in Port Moresby is we have two different sprays that we are required to spray when flying. Turn the heater on. It's cold in here. <laughs> um, we have a pre-spray that we spray in the plane and then underneath in the pods and then we walk inside and get all of our custom stuff done. And then we have a top of descent spray as well here. So this is what I have to do now is spray this just because I'm almost at the top of descent. We're at Pupeb just about. All right, did my legal requirement. Still got about an hour to go. So we'll pick back up once we kind of switch over to tower and stuff. All right, we're just 10 minutes out, um, about 13 miles to run. Hopefully my batteries have enough to last me to get you in there. But basically, we are on descent down to 5,000 feet, and we're doing the sunny Victor 6 arrival in there. So we're coming up to sunny right now, just here shortly. Once we get up to Benji, then it'll just be all visual. I'm going to the creek, the, via the creek corridor. So basically, once we get to Benji, then they'll just probably just try and back to me over, just say, hey, join into basically a base. A left base for runway 15. Visual approach, or visual approach via the star. Papa, tune up for negative loop. Tango Zulu, enjoy your videos. Uh, contact tower 124-9 today. That's great to hear, 124-9 today, Tango Zulu. Can't stop the policy. November Tango Zulu, we you in the sunny 6 Victor via the Creek Corridor. That's in November Tango Zulu, can't stop. G'day. All right, here at Benji, we're going to go visual. Okay, we'll do the creek corridor, basically head on over there and then head in. There we go, there's Benji now. Papa Tango Zulu, great to land. land, Papa Tango Zulu. Degrees of flaps. And turning final. Just gonna keep 10 degrees of flaps in for most of my approach on down, just to keep my speed up. I don't know if I didn't hear anybody else coming in behind me, but I won't go full flaps now. Papa, tune up for Pringles, 
What we're going to do here is just load up with 700 kgs worth of cargo. It's going to take about an hour on the ground. I'm not even clearing customs. I'm not even leaving the ramp or anything. So I'm going to check my fuel, make sure I've got exactly what I want to head back. Should be nice weather heading back. Actually, nicer weather heading back. Load up, get out of here, and enjoy a white monster on the way home. All right, first things what we need to do is actually dip our tanks so that I can know exactly how much it is because once it goes over a thousand pounds, I really have no way of being able to tell how much fuel I actually, actually have. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip it real quick and then see if I need to call it fuel. We're just now finishing up the packing up. We've got 690 kgs. Now we're back on a three hour flight back up to PG. Cancel delivery, Papa 2, November Tango Zulu, requesting clearance, Moresby. Papa 2, November Tango Zulu, cancel delivery, clear to Port Moresby, via Fubet, flight plan route, cans to departure, climb via Sid. 6,000, squawk 1172, departure frequency 118, decimal 4. Quick Moresby via Pupeb, then flight plan route, CANS2 departure, climb via the SID 6,000, squawk 1172, and departure 118, decimal 4, Papa 2, November Tango Shulu. Papa, November Tango Shulu. We've been on the ground exactly an hour now since we landed, which is exactly what I thought. All right, we've got the CANS 2 departure to get out of here and climb via the sit up to 6,000. So basically, okay, we are number one at the earlier of 400 or the departure. So basically when we get to 400 feet or the departure on the runway, we'll take a left-hand turn to assign heading to join in with going up to Pupeb. Cans ground Papa 2, Nova Pertanger Zulu, Bay 1 Bravo, request taxi. Nova Pertanger Zulu, Cans ground taxi, Golf 3, holding point Bravo 2. Taxi Golf 3, holding point Bravo 2, Papa 2, Nova Pertanger Zulu. Now back for a three hour flight back to Papua New Guinea. But I do have my white monsters, and I've got my subway, so I am golden. Can't stop the Paw 2, November Tango Zulu, holding point Bravo 2, ready. Paw 2, November Tango Zulu, can't stop, good eye, sign, heading left 0, 3, 0, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, left turn 0, 3, 0, Papa 2, November Tango Zulu. Rotate 63, 1540 for 1590 on the torque. Crosswind today. There's there's speed alive, there's fifty, there's sixty-three. Yeah, right, 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 right. Taking a left hand turn to zero three zero. Big can stay out, Cleef, if I can make a left turn. Cliff, take off my cliff, turn next right now, I'm clear. We have 20 degrees of flaps now that we're up and over 500. Zero degrees, and we're going to pop to 2,000. Papa Tango Zulu, connect approach. Connect approach, Papa Tango Zulu. Yes, approach Papa 2, November Tango Zulu, passing 1,600 on climb. 6,000 be the set, heading 030. Papa 2, November Tango Zulu, can approach, good day, identified. Papa 2, November Tango Zulu, turn left, heading 360. Turn left, 360, Papa 2, November Tango Zulu. 
Todd, two November 10 days early, climb to flight level 170. Climb to flight level 170 for Papa Tango Zulu. So pretty much from here on out, they're going to transfer me. Basically, we're on a um, departure, they call it just approach here for everything. Then they'll switch me over to Brisbane Center. I'll be on with them until I head over to Papua New Guinea. About halfway through, then they'll switch me over to basically just more to be uh, radio. So anyways, we'll pick back up once we get a little bit closer back to PNG because there's not really that much going to be going on in the next two and a half hours. About 18 minutes out now from Port Moresby. Nothing exciting happened in the past two and a half hours. So I've already got my uh, ATIS coming in here. Information mic basically scattered 2,500 to 3,500 feet. And local QNH 1008. So we're expecting. Alpha 2 November Tango Zulu, contact Jackson's radar 125 decimal 8. 125 decimal 8. Good day. Papa 2 November Tango Zulu. Good day. I'm expecting to do the instrument approach, is what it's saying. Jackson approach for Paul 2, November Tango, Zulu, passing 13,200, on descent 10,000, information, Mike. For Paul 2, November Tango, Zulu, Jackson's radar, welcome back. Expect radar vectors for the island's approach, runway 14 left. Thank you, expecting vectors for the 14 left ILS, Papa Tango, Zulu. Okay, just like I thought. So, let's go ahead and set up um, the approach in here. All right, so what we're gonna do is hit procedures, select approach. ILS 14 left, vectors, arrow, I'm going to do 450. The box rate of the cloud flight level 360. And we'll load that. If I hit my timer reference down here, it has my barrow down here. So what I can do is come on down here, actually, if I wanted to, because I do have the temperature. I can turn it to temperature compensation and turn it to two niner degrees. I should hold the five bars to the south square of traffic. Resume, I think, and resume on the way to direct stuff. Direct stuff, I should hold it. As you can see, now it says 435. So basically, it's giving me an extra 15 feet just because it's adjusting for the temperature. Not that I need it today because like it's just hazy underneath and 2,500 feet scattered, but anyways, you can do that as well if you fly flight simulators. If you guys are interested in um, checking out maybe a full flight, I know this one's a little bit different than most of my flights, but I do have a video going down to Cairns and then a whole separate one coming back here from Papa, last year. Zulu, descend to 6,000. Descend to 6,000, Papa Tango Zulu. Here in a few minutes, they'll probably start vectoring me out over that way, and then we'll join into the ILS 1 4. Papa Tango Zulu, descent to 4000. Descent to 4000, Papa 2, November Tango Zulu. Sure, He's vectoring me, I'm going to go ahead and activate my approach. That is really cool looking. I love that. November Tango Zulu, turn right heading 355. Turn right heading 355, Papa Tango Zulu. Papa Tango Zulu, descend to 2500. Descend to 2,500, Papa 2, Never Pangas Zulu. Uh, Papa Tango Zulu, turn right at in 060 for base. Turn right 060 for base, Papa Tango Zulu. It looks like we're going to be able to shoot it all the way visual all the way in it. So far, it looks like it. Papa Tango Zulu, turn right heading 110 to the central localizer, you're clear for the ILS. Turn right heading 110, clear for the ILS, Papa Tango Zulu. Uh, I can see the airfield right here, so... Oh, drama is... That's all right, we can still let it fly itself all the way in, so I don't have to do it. Now, the thing is, with flying these approaches, you have to be wings level 
at the altitude. One one eight decimal one now. Papa Tango Zulu. Jackson Tower. Papa two number Tango Zulu. He's joining the ILS now. Visual at the airfield. Papa Tango Zulu. Are we on? Runway one four left. On the approach. Continue approach one four left. Papa two number Tango Zulu. Not going to bother with flaps and stuff. Typically, I'd fly with 10 degrees of flaps in, slow down to 110 knots for an approach, but uh, yeah, it's a visual approach. Well, more or less. So, once we get past those clouds, it should be visual. And top of all, two, number of fingers, Zulu can sidestep to 1 4 right if uh, helps you out. Papa, I think that's a little right your distance. Uh, 6.2. Uh, Tango Zulu, right there. Continue one for left. Continue one for left. Uh, Pilot Tango Zulu. <laughs> no Alpha Zulu, make right turn, radar air bone clear for takeoff. Mm. Radar air bone clear, take off, November Zulu. November Tango Zulu, Papa Tango Zulu, and Papa 2 November Tango Zulu. It gets confusing after a while. Papa Tango Zulu, runway one four left, clear to land. Runway one four left, clear to land, Papa Tango Zulu. Clear to land, prop and harness done, flaps to go. That's autopilot off. You guys want to pick one of these up for your flight home simulator or if you're a pilot yourself. These are a really cool too. I know you guys have seen me use them a lot, but I do have my website now if you guys want to check that out. Minimums, minimums. Oh, there's minimums if it was crappy out. A six knot crosswind. And full flaps. Here in ground effect for a little while. <laughs> what about a thing with the look on the ground locating? Okay, Having a contact ground. I don't know. I've been pretty good. I'm back to November Tango Zulu. <laughs> Jackson Ground, November Tango Zulu. Fox truck for the MF hangar. Correction, uh, International. Papa 2, November Tango Zulu, Jackson Ground. Cross runway 14 right, continue taxi via Alpha for International. Cross 14 right via Alpha International, November Tango Zulu. Okay, so I'm heading back in. I'm going to park this over at international down here and go clear customs go clear immigration and uh, drop by quarantine office as well all right guys well i just went into quarantine cleared that cleared customs got my thing stamped my passport stamped Really nothing to show you. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. And like I said, if you want to go see one of those other videos that I have down to cans or back, uh, check out my playlist. I've got that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.